This is Banjo. Today I'm going over beaming, more specifically, beaming a missile. In this example, I have a bandit off to my 10 o'clock, which I'm beaming to reduce the closure rate, and he's about to fire an AMRAM at me, at which point I'm going to quickly break and beam the missile off to my 3 or 9 o'clock, in this case 9 o'clock since he's off to my 10 o'clock. This is going to make the missile continually adjust its angle of attack to maintain lead pursuit on me, bleeding off its energy. At medium and long ranges, this is enough in its own right to defeat the missile, just by bleeding its energy. Well, in this example, the bandit fires at about 20 kilometers, more or less, somewhere around the range that the AIM-120 goes pitbull. So I quickly break to maneuver and put that thing on my beam and hold it there. Here I can see it coming in, and I watch it come in. The longer it's in flight, and the closer it gets, the more energy it's bled off. And once it's got to about 2 or 3 kilometers of my aircraft, I'm going to break across the path of the missile, making it pull as many G's as it can to keep up lead pursuit on me. This will usually defeat the missile. Here you'd put out countermeasures and start to lock up the bandit as quickly as you can to get a shot on him before he gets a second shot at you, because once he sees your aspect changing, he's going to fire again. At this point I've fired an R-77 at the enemy, and I'm going to break defensively again in the case that he's got another missile in the air, as my radar warning receiver is still picking up the first missile. Here we're able to see that I've splashed the enemy bandit, and he hasn't fired another missile at me. I take a look around just to make sure, and I can go back to doing what I was doing before running into the enemy bandit. At this point, my radar warning receiver stops detecting that first missile as it's finally fallen out of the air. We'll take a look at this example one more time in tack view. At this point, we're able to see the bandit at my 10 o'clock, and he's about to fire an AIM-120C. At this point I see the launch, quickly break to put it off to my beam, forcing the missile to continually adjust its angle of attack to maintain its lead pursuit on me. Since the missile only burns for a short time, it runs off its own kinetic energy shortly thereafter. As it pulls G's, as it tries to keep lead on you, this will force its airspeed down, which is not going to be recovered since its motor is long burned out. So once the missile is close enough to the aircraft, pulling a high G brake across the missile's flight path will force the missile to pull a high jeep brake to keep up with it, and it does not have the energy to do so, so this bleeds off the remainder of its energy. Seeing the change in aspect, the bandit is sure to fire, so be sure to lock up the bandit and fire on him as soon as you're able, then break defensively again in the event that he has fired. In this example, he only gets the one missile off as my R-77 kills him straight out. We'll see another example though. In game, we're able to see we're at the point where the missile has already went active, and I'm already beaming it off to my 10 o'clock. This range is closing quite quickly. In this example, I'm going much too quick. And I break, which slows down my turn, causing a wide turn, which also forces me to over G. And here we're able to see, having to go from vertical scan into BVR, forces me to take longer to get the shot off, which allows the bandit to get a shot off. I defensively split S to avoid his missile, with way too much airspeed, I'm not sure how I didn't over G here. I also put out the wrong kind of countermeasure, putting out chaff instead of IR flares to avoid his aim 9. This stresses the point of being precise in locking up the enemy once you come out of that break and maintaining your airspeed just above corner at all times whenever you're engaging defensive. Finally, we'll take a look at this example and tag view as well. We're able to see from the point of the break where I beam the missile. At this point, I keep my airspeed up as high as I can causing that missile to work as hard as it can to maintain lead on me, burning its energy off even further than in the previous example. Now I forget to retard the throttle and deploy brakes before I begin the brake. This forces a wider turn than if I were turning just above corner, and causes me to over-G almost to the point of unconsciousness. Then I fumble with the radar, taking a second or two longer to lock up the bandit and fire a missile, while he gets a heater off at me, at which point I brake defensively and split us to avoid it, putting out countermeasures fumbling with the wrong position on my hat switch, putting out chaff instead of IR. I managed to outrun the missile, although it's riding right behind me and I don't actually see the missile until I come out of the dive. So this stresses the importance of being precise and maintaining your airspeed at all times whenever you're engaged defensive.